First off, I'm starting off with my transition color. It's actually Brown Script by MAC. It's one of my favorite. It just basically lays on the eye so well and works with a lot of colors. Now I'm using my MAC 224 brush, one of my favorites actually. Now I'm going to go into my second color I'm going to put into the crease. It's actually a color by Bobbi Brown called Rich Brown. Now I'm going to take my Prep and Primer Wet My Elf brush to dip into my eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Nocturnal palette. Um, the first color I'm going to use is Midnight Cowboy Rise Again. The reason why I wet it is because I want my eyeshadow to be a little more intense. Oop, I gotta do a little bit of adjusting. <laughs> And as you can see, I'm only putting it on the lid, the bottom lower lid of the eye. And instead of me wiping, I like to pat. I like to pat the color on. It just, it makes it way more intense. And then I'm going to go back into that palette and take the color Baby and place it right on top of that same color that I just used to give it a little more color, a little more shine, a little more glitter. Truth is, I like both colors, so I just decided to mix them. <laughs> And this right here is my Chanel brush, I believe. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely going to put it below so you can see it. And I went back in to get the color black out. And I'm going to put it in the corner of my eye just to kind of give a little smoky effect to the eye. And then we're gonna blend. Make sure you blend, blend, blend. I would, I would like to uh, for all my colors to flow. So I'm just going to blend everything in. Now I'm gonna go in with my NARS liquid liner. Now this is by far one of my least favorite parts to do is liner. It just takes so much focus when you're using one hand and you're looking into a mirror and trying to stay in, into the camera at the same time. But I think I got it. I did okay. I did great. Put it that way. It's coming along. <laughs> Then I'm gonna go in with a wet wipe and just kind of clean up the corners a little bit just so I can have that nice sharp thing. The next thing is I'm gonna put a little bit of this Stila. It's a new product that they have out um, with it's like a glitter wand. And I just kind of just like dab a little bit of glitter specs on it. I really love this product. It's so easy to use, it's so user friendly, and it's not messy like loose glitter is so this is by far one of my favorite products by them right now i'll have the name of this color that i'm using in the description box below because i cannot for the life of me remember this color but i love it <laughs> And now I'm going to go back in with my tapered brush 
and just blend that a little bit and then i'm gonna pop on my eyelure lashes these are my favorite lashes they are amazing to me now i'm gonna go in with my inglot cream liner and i'm going to line my lower bottom My foundation is Carbon FX and N100. I love it. It makes my skin feel like butter. And I'm using my Sigma Kabuki brush, you guys. I love this brush. It's by far one of my favorite. It just puts my makeup on completely different. I mean, what can I say? And I use it for wet and dry products. It buffs in the skin so well. Definitely, guys, check you check out Sigma. I definitely have the link below where you can get you a, a brush. And I'm going to put on my two concealers. I always mix hazelnut biscuit or sometimes cafe and biscuit, but it's NARS Radiant uh, Creamy Concealer, and I'm mixing hazelnut and biscuits. I use the biscuit just to kind of highlight, as you can see, just a little bit. And I go on with my damp beauty blender and make sure I blend the concealer in. Then we're going to go into the Anastasia Beverly Hill Contour Cream Kit. And I'm going to use the fourth and the fifth color in the palette, <laughs> starting from the top. And I'm going to contour the sides of my face and then the sides of my nose. I don't go too, too overboard with the contouring, just a little bit, not too much. And I don't like the color to be too dark. And then I go in with my MAC Skin Finish. I believe that's in dark. And I'm actually setting the concealer under my eyes first. It's something that I like to do. It just works better for me. And it helps um, eliminate flashbacks. So that's how I normally set my concealer first. With the MAC Skin Finish Mineral Powder. And then I just go in and I set the contour with CoverGirl Ebony Bronzing Powder. And I'm going to use Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set up under my eyes, down my nose, my forehead, and my chin. And I'm just using a regular sponge to do it. It's a lot better for me to use that. And don't forget down the size of the cheek so you can pop out that contour. Now I'm just going to take a nice fluffy brush and I'm going to brush all the excess off. And I'm going to go back with another skin finish, mineralized powder in Dark Deep from MAC. And with this, I'm going to basically buff this all over the face, mainly focusing on the outer areas of my face. 
on the sides of my nose a little bit by my contour I don't like to go too much under the eyes where I set my concealer because I still want to keep that nice highlight then I'm going to go apply my blush which is NAR seduction one of my favorites is just so rich and it, I love the way it warms up my skin Ooh, I highlight. Everybody knows I love a good highlight. So Hollywood Illuminator by Anastasia Beverly Hills. One of my favorite. I just take my matte brush and I just sweep it along the sides of my face. A little bit above my, my blush. That's kind of where I put it. Mm, just love a highlight. Yes, highlight come through. Yes. And I just, just took a brush and kind of blended everything together. This is my Urban Decay Lip Liner in Conspiracy, the 24-7. I love this lip line, guys. This is just like the new thing for me. So I'm lining with Conspiracy. It goes on so smooth. I always use this color with a lot of my new colors. It's one of the best colors. It basically is replacing Night Moth by MAC. But yeah, this is Conspiracy once again. Um by Urban Decay. And I'm actually doing an ombre lip, so I'm like doing it a little deep. And this right here is the lipstick I'm going to use. It's actually Snitch from the Vice Lipstick Collection from Urban Decay. I love this lip color. I actually have a few others. This is one of my favorites along with Safe Word and Naked. Guys, check their lipsticks out. I won't steer you wrong. This is I just love their lipsticks. It's so moisturizing to my lips. It stays on long. I love it. And I'm going to go back in with the Conspiracy Pencil. And I'm going to line it just a little more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like.